around the world today we face many different mission challenges. I think for example of the 1040 window which stretches from northwest Africa through the Middle East into Asia. That's where the majority of the world's population live and the fewest Christians. I also think of the growing cities of the world, again where the majority of the population lives and this is a tremendous challenge particularly for Seventh-day Adventists because traditionally we have focused more in rural areas and that's where we have grown our church. And as we look at these challenges, as we look at the challenges of secularism and postmodernism in Western Europe, Australia, New Zealand, increasingly in North America, we see that we are not sufficient for these things, but God has called us to join him in his mission to make disciples in these areas of the world. You know, not so far from here in the Philippines, there is a place called Kalimantan. And many years ago, I've met a global mission pioneer there, planting new groups of believers. I asked him about his story, how he had started, and he kind of smiled and he said, when I started, it was really difficult. There were men running up and down the main street, holding the decapitated heads of their enemies. This poor young pioneer had arrived in the middle of some civil warfare to plant a church. But there he was, and he put Christ's method into practice. He said, we have an expression here, which when translated says, I tread the ground, which means I come here, I become like the people. And that's what we see around the world today. We see global mission pioneers treading the ground like Jesus did in incarnational ministry, rubbing shoulders with people, ministering to their needs, showing sympathy, winning confidence and bringing them to Jesus Christ. And your annual sacrifice offering makes a tremendous difference in supporting global mission around the world. It makes possible for pioneers to do their work. It makes it possible for global mission centers to help us bridge to people from other religions and cultures. It helps make a difference to lead men and women, boys and girls to Jesus Christ. So thank you so much for your continuing support for global mission through your support of the annual sacrifice offering.